What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mystery Box Monday. Yes, as usual, we have an awesome mystery box full of goodies to start off the week. And uh, as you can see, this one's overflowing a little bit. Uh, yeah, how, how is everybody this week? I hope you're all well. I hope you all added something awesome into your own collections. And uh, yes, quite a few goodies in the box this week. Uh, plus I've also got some stuff off to the side. So uh, yeah, kick back, relax, and let's get on into it. And we will start off today's episode with the Jaguar E-Type from Majorette. Super cool, this one's part of the Vintage series. Beautiful metallic British racing green color. And uh, we're gonna open this one. Uh, we won't be opening everything in the box today, but we, there are, uh, uh, there's a couple of cars in there we might open up today. So yeah, we'll start off with this one, I think. All right, let's grab this out. And uh, we also get the card inside the uh, thing as well. Actually, we'll just grab that out too, why not? Why not? Here we go. Look at that. Very cool. Got a little uh, jag there. Nice little picture. Get all of the uh, schematics of the vehicle, the power and everything like that. So that's really awesome. And there's the card there. Yeah, really nice. We'll pop that over there. Uh, get rid of the plastic. And here we go. Check this out. Look at that. I really do love Major Red. Uh, they do add a lot, little bit more attention to detail than some of the other brands out there and I think this one looks quite nice. Uh, we get the clear window, we get the black vents on the bonnet there, I guess some strange looking wheels, they kind of look like land speed wheels, <laughs> something you would see on a salt flat possibly. I uh, get the door handles painted up, we get the lens headlights, little jag badge in the center there. Uh, we don't get any chrome bumpers but we do get the gray bumper just there. And uh, there's the opposite side there. Another shot of the interior. Looks quite good actually. And then we'll go around to the back there and we'll be able to see all of the badging, the light details also. And uh, yeah, the rear bumper in grey. Uh, not too bad looking uh, version of the E-Type Jag. The bumper on the back does look a little bit strange though, I will have to admit. Uh, but other than that, not too bad at all. And uh, yeah, you can see it has the little springs inside there. so. It does get suspension. Awesome. All right, let's get that one over there. All right, uh, now we have some of the cast head cars to have a look at. I do actually have two more in the box there. Uh, this one here is the Renault Clio uh, 16S. Very, very nice. Uh, there is the car just there. It has the opening doors and everything. And it's part of the cast head series, uh, which is an online magazine. You can go and check that out, guys. It is absolutely brilliant. Uh, I do quite uh, like the, the uh, Cast Heads magazine. It's actually really, really good. A uh, very, very nice example of the little Renault Clio here. Bright green. It's got the Cast Heads all over there. Renault Clio there. Lens headlights, all of that. Uh, it doesn't show you the other cars that are in this series, but I'm still trying to find the uh, Porsche uh, so I can do an unboxing of them all. Uh, next up, we have the Nissan Z or the 400Z. I picked this up from Toy World, 10 bucks. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, couldn't find the Porsche anywhere to save my life. Uh, it was nowhere to be found, uh, but this is really nice to be able to get the majority of the cars from the set. Uh, we have the red car with the white stripes. We have the Japanese writing on the side. Uh, I can only assume that that says cast heads in Japanese. Uh, please let me know what that says. If anybody has, uh, if anybody knows what that says, please put it in the comments below. Uh, there's the rear there, has all the uh, light details and badging all painted up nicely as well. Blacked out roof, red interior. Uh, also got the opening doors on this one. Very, very awesome. And yeah, the card art looks cool. Looks like it's drifting. Very nice. Uh, we did actually have a look at the uh, the Nissan Sephiro. Let me just grab that. I can see it sitting here. Oh, bumping the camera and everything. Uh, this was the other one that we found earlier, the Nissan Sephiro, the A31. Very cool, drifting as well. Uh, and there is the car there. Uh, this was a couple of weeks ago that we saw this one, so I won't go into too much detail. You can uh, go back on a different video, but I believe this one has the opening bonnet on the inside there. And uh, next up, we have the Volkswagen T3. Yes, this looks really, really cool. 
very very nice it's kind of like a, a dark pink color has the white hibiscus flowers on the side there cast heads has the opening door uh, with the camper interior super cool looking car we'll have to say a lens headlights nice grill detailing um, very cool it's got the white top there tow hitch on the back and flowers all around yeah that is absolutely awesome uh, so wish me luck on finding the last car uh, actually there's another car um, where did I put the other one I believe that there is six cars in total for the uh, or is it just five I don't know it's either five or six cars for the singles for the cast heads uh, magazine series and then we have the oh let me just grab this it's right close I'll just grab it now <laughs> there we go yes uh, so this is the the five pack uh, there's the cars there absolutely awesome really really nice lineup of cars also found this at toy world so check your local toy world if you have one um, what I wanted to do was open up the box and the set of cars in one video uh, so wish me luck to find the last car slash cars uh, for that set and then we can open the video up uh, record the video for that all right now that that rambling is all out of my system we will start getting onto some hot wheels yes we found some new cars didn't find too many uh, new cars for hot wheels this week unfortunately uh, but this is from the quarter mile heroes the tesla model s plaid very very nice it's got the gray wheels it's got the headlight and grill badge detail on the front there and around the back there we get the rear lights license plate everything like that all nicely painted up uh, very cool we'll have to say uh, i'm not really a big uh, tesla fan uh, but it's nice to have one uh, with all of the details in the right positions uh, that actually looks quite good uh, we'll pop this one uh we'll pop this one over here <laughs> there there we go it'll balance there all right <laughs> next up we found the mclaren p1 uh the car that's nice this is also part of the quarter mile heroes a really nice kind of like a uh, a dark burgundy red kind of color it's really nice uh, once again we get the headlight details the badge in the center there nice looking car it's got those new uh, snowflake wheels and on the back there we get a little detailing on the rear as well lights and exhaust pipe all painted up so yeah very very cool once again a nice example of this car once it focuses for us yeah definitely a nice looking car and the last one that we have in the way of mainline hot wheels is this one that's a really cool looking card art for this I wonder why my camera's not focusing too well today is that focusing better there we go now we have focus not too sure what's going on with the camera today uh, but this is the gordon murray automotive t50s really cool metallic orange color nice blacked out wheels got the black detailing down the side there uh, more paint on this black paint on the side wing it's got one of those crazy uh, wings on there as well uh, more vent painted details there lensed headlights racing stripe uh, badge on the bonnet there big uh, racing splitter and those fancy canards on the side there for extra downforce and then around the back there where you get this big huge uh, fan on the back there as well no painted details on the rear but still kind of funny to see that kind of looks like a rocket something very very futuristic uh, so yeah also has a roof scoop uh, nice now let me know what you guys think of the gordon murray automotive t50s very cool part of the exotic series all right a couple more hot wheels in the box we have one of these new halloween or uh day of the dead uh how do you say it again um i don't know i can't quite think of how to say it uh but yes the the day of the dead series dios los muertos or something deus, deus los muertos. i don't know i'm trying to think of it i do know what it is and i have said it before on other videos uh, but this is really cool this is just a uh, really cool card art i love it uh, this is the 1933 ford low boy 
It's also a repeat uh, from the last year, I believe, that they did these cars. Uh, so I won't be opening this, obviously, uh, but it looks really cool. Very, very awesome. Love those skull wheels. Uh, but yeah, I only found one of these. I uh, couldn't find any of these other ones, uh, but it does look like a re-release of the previous um, Halloween series. Oh yeah, there we go. That, it is the Halloween series. Uh, but yeah, I think this is the same as the ones that I've already got, just a different card art uh, from a few years ago. I'll pop that down there. And now we have the final car that we needed for the Vintage Racing Club series. The 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302. Look at that. Really nice yellow and black color combination. It's got all the stickers down the side there, the Boss stickers. Number 12, Goodyear. Really, really cool wheel choice, I will have to say. They look awesome. Uh, headlight details, grill details. Has the bonnets blacked out. Number 12, it's got the hood pins also. Around the back there we get the uh, plastic wing on the back, uh, but we also get the rear tail lights also painted in. That's absolutely awesome. Super awesome. And there's the base there. Yes, this is a metal body and metal base car. So I finally have all of this series of the uh, Vintage Club series. I'm still trying to find the Camaro from the first uh, range of those cars. Uh, so wish me luck to find that. I don't know if anybody's actually found that red Camaro from the first uh, series of those cars. Yeah, um, if anybody has found the red Camaro from the uh, vintage series, uh, let me know, because uh, I haven't been able to find one anywhere. And I've been to the toy stores uh, where they've had fresh boxes and they've opened up the fresh boxes to see what's in there. And it's only been uh, four of the five cars. The red uh, Camaro has never, ever, ever been in there. Ah. Awesome, I forgot about these. Uh, we will get to these in just one second. Uh, these need to go down the end there because uh, <laughs> uh, we've got quite a few cars to go along with the story of that. And uh, now we'll be able to check out some uh, Hot Wheels premiums. Yes, this is the last car that I needed for the Hot Wheels Boulevard series up to number 99 or 100 or whatever it is. Uh, this is the Nissan Skyline GTR. BNR32, and it's got the Godzilla on the side in grey. That's so cool. Uh, it's got nice bronze wheels, headlight details, badge details, got the grey stripes on the bonnet and the roof there. And then around the back there, we get all those rear light details and badging done as well. So yes, uh, it took me quite a while to find this, but I did actually find it. Uh, this was from that toy store I was talking about last week, which was out in the middle of nowhere. Um, but yeah. Finally found all five cars from this set. It's been so long since I've been able to complete the entire five cars from a Boulevard set. Uh, it's quite often you're able to find four of the five cars, but uh, yeah, this is the first time in quite a while I think I've actually been able to have all five for the uh, entire wave of um, cars from that series. Um, speaking of which, this is only one more addition to the uh, Hot Wheels World Tour series. And this is the Audi S4 Quattro. Very nice car, I will have to say. Really nice uh, presentation on this one here. It's got all just the right details, headlights, grill, badging. Very, very nicely done with those nice, simple wheels. And there we go, the back there. Just once again, nice and simple. Uh, really, really like this set. Uh, the only one I need to find now is the Toyota Supra. Uh, still haven't been able to find that. Uh, there's plenty of these. Actually, no, there's plenty of these two. Uh, can't find that, can't find any more of those. But yeah, these two, there's plenty of those around. Uh, but there we go. Finally added one more car to this series, the World Tour series. Very happy for that. Uh, we can kind of squeeze that in there, kind of. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's still in the frame. That's good enough. All right. Next up, we have a couple more Boulevard cars. Once again, I was only able to find two of the cars from the, the entire range. This is the Ford Transit Supervan. And to be honest, this one here would have been one that I would have really, really wanted to find anyway. I love the old school hippie van styling of that. That's just absolutely awesome. The right colors, the right stripes, nice chrome wheels. 
This is seriously just like a throwback to the 70s or 80s. I love it. Very, very nicely done. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. And uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. That is such a cool, cool looking van. Yeah, definitely. If I was ever to have a van, I'd want something like this and I'd love to have like the designs of something like that as well. That's awesome. Love that. Um, the rest of the cars that are in this set are probably going to be very hard to find. Uh, these two here in particular will be very, very, very hard to find. Uh, but in all honesty, I just want this one. This is the only one that I'd really want. These two here, actually no, to be honest, uh, these three here are the only ones that I'd really, really want to find. Uh, but the Dito Pantera, uh, I really want to find that. I couldn't find one for a previous series that it was in. Uh, so wish me luck that I can find it uh, in this series at some point. Ah uh, yes, the Myers Manx. Super, super cool. Once again, another gold vehicle. It's got uh, red off-road wheels, white top. Uh, Myers Manx and a number one on the bonnet there. And then on the back there, we have that Volkswagen engine. We have a spare wheel on the back there. And that's just such a cool looking little car. Very cool little beach buggy. And uh, yeah, there is the card art for that. Um, yeah, once again, I definitely would have wanted to pick this one here up. I love that style of car. It's just, uh, yeah, awesome. It's got spotlight detailing as well. Super cool. Super, super cool. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of that. Uh, the, not, the next one. Oh, this is just absolutely awesome. Uh, the box is empty, by the way. Oop. I'm almost knocking things over. This one here is very, very cool. I uh, don't know what else is in the range for the uh, entertainment series that this came in. Uh, this was the only one that I found, but it's absolutely incredible. This is the 1985 Chevy Astro van. It's got the caped Crusader on the side there. Love that. That is awesome. And I found two of these. So, you know what that means? That means we get to open it. Obviously, after I've already opened it, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Look at that. That is incredibly cool. So awesome. It's got the wings on the roof there. It's got the bat symbol on the roof as well. Love the red pinstriping. Hey, even in the... Uh, the pinstriping has like the bat head and the bottom for the cape there. That's really funny. It's like two bat symbols in one. Awesome. Nice chrome wheel, side exit exhaust. Big, huge, blown engine sticking out the bonnet there. There's all the headlight details. And then on the other side, we just have the same livery. That's awesome. And around the back there, we get a little bit of red light detailing and the red on the parachutes there. Uh, it's got wheelie bars also. And uh, this doesn't open by chance, does it? No, it's not an opening casting. Oh, that's awesome. That is so cool. Yes, I love that. <laughs> that's absolutely awesome. Very cool. Um, now we have the cars that we got in the vending machine. Yes, I uh, found a few cars in the vending machine. I picked up one more of these cartooned, cartooned, cars the other a uh, couple of weeks ago we got another 57 oh, where is it there we go this was the one that we got a couple of weeks ago very very nice really cool low rider style and then we got this one here which is like the hot rod version the big time hustler look at this matte black green flames purple writing on the back there just so so cool it's got the drag tires in the rear uh, there we go there's the front there and there's the back there. No light details painted on these, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, purple window. Just a very, very cool looking set of cars. Uh, this is this series. And uh, by the looks of it, there's... <laughs> it says series one and series one, uh, but they're two different series. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, if anybody knows why there are two different series for series one. Uh, is it just a recolor? Is it international? Uh, I don't know. I really do not know. I don't know enough about these cars, but there we go. How cool is that? The 257 Chevy Bel Airs. Awesome. That's really cool. Uh, picked up a couple of cars from the Hot Wheels vending machine uh, a few weeks after I got that one. And uh, over a couple of days, I was able to pick up two cars. One of them is the Datsun 240Z. 
from the Hot Wheels showroom series. Really, really cool. There's the card art there. And uh, guaranteed for life. And we'll turn this around to the back. 2013. Wow, very, very old. Uh, but there we go. Uh, this cost me a whole six dollars. So um, yeah, it's quite expensive for a regular mainline car. And I do actually already have this in my collection, uh, but I don't have one on a card. So even just for $6, I was like, yes, I definitely want that. Um, obviously I would have preferred it if it was cheaper, but can't, can't uh, expect everything. Uh, <laughs> Uh, another one that I got for another $6 was one of these flying customs cars and this is the Ford T-Bird, the 57 T-Bird. And when I was a kid, I had one almost, I, well, to be honest, I think it was actually an identical version of this. I don't believe it had a blue window though, uh, but it definitely was this kind of uh, pink pearly kind of color. And yeah, I remember having one of these as a kid. I don't know if it was identical to this, but it was definitely this shape. And uh, yeah, when I saw this one, I 100% jumped on that and uh, grabbed it. Very, very cool. Uh, in the series, we have all of these cars here. And uh, the Hot Wheels vending machine currently has this one and this one in the uh, vending machine. And I believe it also has uh, this one in the vending machine as well. Uh, no Skyline, I couldn't see that. No Chevy Love and uh, no Volkswagen or Camaro, uh, but yeah. Really, really cool to get these old school looking cars. It even has the black wall wheels. Actually, what year is this from? Uh, 2019. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that they uh, had released them like that. Try and get that to, there we go. Try and lessen the glare. All right, next up. <laughs> I kind of went a little bit crazy in the vending machine. I picked up a few more Hot Wheels ID cars and they're just castings that I really, really, really like. And they're only $10, so they're technically $1 cheaper than when they were retail in stores here in Australia. So, um, yeah, I've really been enjoying the uh, Hot Wheels ID cars. I know they are still $10, but they're a discontinued line. All the cars are incredibly cool, all got Spectra Flame paint, uh, all really cool looking details, special wheels and all of that. Uh, so, yeah, adding a few more of these into the collection. Very, very awesome. And pop that there. Uh, we also got the oval drive, very nice. Uh, there is the car there, very lovely color on that one. Uh, there is the artwork for that. Uh, these will all be opened in single episodes to be able to take advantage of uh, all of the details properly. Uh, so look forward to that. The videos, videos on these will only be like, oh, probably less than three minutes to be honest. They won't be very long at all, maybe three to five minutes per car, depending on how cool the car is. Uh, so we will do that in the future. Uh, I actually picked up two of these uh, because they are really, really cool and um, definitely was going to pick up at least one. Uh, so I picked up one of them and then when I went back uh, a week or so later, uh, there's the artwork there. Really nice color on that. Really, I have to say that's really, really cool looking color. Uh, so yeah, when I went back a few days later, uh, these cars were in the machine. Oh, actually no, uh, this one, was in front of this one, and then this, because I had two layers uh, in the machine, they had two rows of them, and then this one was in front of this one. So I had to buy a secondary one of these uh, just to get the Pagani Huayra, which I'll tell you a story about in a second, and then I had to buy the Oval Drive just to get the Volkswagen T1 GTR. And don't worry, I am not complaining about buying the Oval Drive or even the secondary one of these, because I'm just gonna give this away uh, in the competition. Uh, but it's really nice to be able to add other ones in there, uh, which I wouldn't necessarily just outright buy from the shelf. Uh, so having to been kind of been forced to buy this, uh, to get this, uh, yeah, I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm actually not complaining. Can we fit this one up there? Yes. Uh, but here we go, the Volkswagen T1 GTR. Look at this. I definitely was not passing up on this one. Look at the artwork on that too. The colors on this one are absolutely awesome. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, because we can't see any of the details and I really, really want to show you guys this, uh, we are going to open this one up right now uh, to show you because it's just absolutely awesome. So there we go, guys. I was going to save the box unboxing for a separate video, 
uh, but I think I'm going to make a little bit of a uh, an excuse for today just 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 because it's just too awesome to not show you I mean how cool does this look it's got the German flag colors on there it's got the full clear roof piece so you can see inside it's got the engine and everything inside there uh, it's got the Zamac finish on this there's the front there look how super wide the body is nice details on the front there also uh, around the opposite side there uh, you can see this has the ID wheels Volkswagen racing just such a cool cool looking vehicle and try and get a little bit more of a shot of that giant engine in there just absolutely awesome and then around the back there we get all those details also so cool so so cool uh, let me know what you guys think and uh, there is the ID chip hiding away inside there and uh, yeah really really nice it even has kind of like a carbon fiber texture I don't know if you can hear that uh, it's a little, a little bit scratchy <laughs> it's got all uh, texture all along the side there it gives it a little carbon fiber style effect and uh, that is absolutely awesome. Really, really like that. All right, and the last one we have is the Pagani Huayra. And I was not going to leave the machine until I got this out because this is the second time I've gone to the machine and it has not dispensed the car all the way and it's gotten caught uh, being on the corner edge. So this is the second time, <laughs> uh, second time I've given the machine a shake to uh, get this to drop out. So um, yes, it was kind of frustrating, especially when you go through all the effort of trying to get the uh, car in the first place, uh, having to buy other cars just to get this one. Uh, definitely wasn't leaving it. And the worst part was the car behind it, I really wanted to because it was the Jurassic Park Jeep. The one behind it was the Jurassic Park Jeep. I'm sure you're all aware of the awesome uh, Jeeps from Jurassic Park movie. Uh, yeah, that was behind it. And I was going to buy that one as well. But once this one got stuck, the machine kind of shut off for that row and I couldn't buy any more from that row. Uh, but this dropped out pr relatively easy. Just a quick little <laughs> of the machine. <laughs> and uh, yeah, got it to drop down. It wasn't actually held in there too bad, but it just forced the machine to stop, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely was not going to leave without this. So awesome. And uh, there is the car there. And uh, there he is hiding away in there. So, so cool. Very, very happy to have that. And uh, yeah, that is the end of my weekly rant. Uh, <laughs> I don't usually do them all the time, but uh, yeah, my little story time, I guess you would call it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave the episode there, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget to, uh, Actually, no, I'm not going to say like, comment, subscribe. I've been recording a whole bunch of those uh, five-pack videos. I've got a whole bunch of Matchbox five-pack videos coming out for you this week. Uh, plus, we also have a couple more uh, Majorette five-pack uh, gift boxes coming out this week. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, so yes, yeah, I've kind of got my head around in a loop for the outro for those videos. So sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, don't like, don't comment, don't subscribe. Actually, no, comment, or obviously comment, but don't worry about subscribing or liking the video or anything like that, unless you really enjoy it and really do want to. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you very much for joining me. I really hope you enjoyed. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you all next week. Bye guys.